If you ever feel like EA is against you or that this game is completely rigged, then this is how scripting really works in FC25. So we're going to test out the three ways that scripting happens to find out if it actually exists. So starting with the most obvious example is getting scored on in the 90th minute. Meaning if you're already winning in the 80th minute, the game changes to make your players feel slower and make more errors to give your opponent a chance to make a comeback. But it's not that simple. Scripting, better known as DDA, stands for Dynamic difficulty adjustment. So EA could use this to change your opponent's speed, make your defenders way more physical, or make your easy shots go right over the crossbar. And EA even talks about this on their official website, where they actually admitted to owning this technology and having the ability to do this. But it gets a lot more complicated. Because in 2019, there was a lawsuit to prove whether or not EA actually uses this in Ultimate Team, and in the end, they dropped the case, claiming they showed them the DDA technology and talked to the engineer engineers at EA, and they were fully convinced that it doesn't exist and dropped the case. So to find out if it's actually still in the game, I tested whether or not EA can change your player stats in the middle of a match. So right now, it's the 20th minute and the game is tied, and Anaki Williams is running past Harry Kane and of course, he's way faster. He just, he can't be caught. But I tested this again in the 80th minute when I was winning 2-0. to zero. Same exact play, but somehow... Harry Maguire is catching up to him. But that is only the first way we can look at scripting in this game. And there's still another way we can actually see scripting in the instant replays. So the second thing we can look at is a different form of DDA, and that's pack luck. Which is the reason why you'll go 15-0 in the weekend league and end up packing Jari Littman in, but your mate who's in Division 10 will somehow end up with Mbappe. But EA does not just randomly determine pack weight. Every pack that you open has a certain percentage for packing a high-rated player. But this is not a random percentage. Whenever you open a pack, it'll spin a random number generator to give the pack a unique code. And that code will determine which players are in the pack, just like a seed in a Minecraft world. So if you open a really expensive pack, like a 100k pack, your odds of getting a high rated player like Kevin De Bruyne are going to be a whole lot higher than if you just open a 7.5k pack. But what doesn't get talked about enough is that the random number generator gets changed all the time. EA's goal is to keep you playing this game as as long as possible. So if you haven't played the game in two months, they could easily give you a really good pack. Because if you just started playing again and packed a tradable Vinicius Jr., of course you'd start playing the game again. But the opposite is if you're playing all the time, grinding division rivals, foot champs every weekend, you probably don't have really good pack luck. So to test this out, comment what division you're in and what your best pack pull this year is, and we'll see if it's actually true. But there is another way that EA could change pack luck that would get them in a ton of trouble. Again, EA's goal is to keep you playing their game as long as possible. But to do this, they have made almost every single pack untradeable. So if you actually want to get a good team this year, your only option is to buy FIFA points. And if you open packs with FIFA points or spend money to earn the packs, EA might just raise your pack loss. So to test this out, I open up the base hero SBC on a Road to Glory $0 spent account. Cam. Saudi. Saudi League. That's so tough. That's actually awful and nor that's might be the worst one in the game but now i'm opening the same pack but on an account with a lot of money spent on it on the money spent account left wing portugal wow we good that's actually if that's paul of future that's actually sick hero of course and wow actually Wow. So it seems like if you give them money, you have a higher chance of getting a better player, otherwise known as gambling. But since you only have to be 15 years old to play Ultimate Team, one, keep Kareem Benzema away, and two, I don't think they would actually change the pack weight. I think we just got lucky. So moving on to the final way that we can test scripting, we have player versus player interactions. And more than any FIFA in history, FC25 has some of the strangest moments I've ever seen. EA has introduced a new engine to to try to make player movements very realistic, but it has completely messed up how fouls work. FC25 has the lowest amount of fouls out of any FIFA in the last 15 years. So if you go to instant replays, he goes for a slide tackle from behind and doesn't even get close to touching the ball. He completely takes him out and somehow 
it's not a foul. And based on everything we've seen from EA's new motion technology, committing a foul is just like pack luck. It's a random number generator. So when you're running in the box and commit a foul, it might look like it goes through his legs and he should get a red card, but it's just ones and zeros. And if the odds aren't in your favor, it won't be a foul. But this doesn't just happen with defending because scoring goals has changed completely. So to test this, I took the same shot 20 times when I was losing and needed to score a goal. I run up the field with Salah and finesse it towards the far post. And with the script on my side, I scored 15 out of the 20 times. But I did this again when I was winning. And with the game rooting against nope. me, I only scored 10 times. And you might just think that's a skill issue and that I've missed my shots. So I went into instant replays and turned on the precision shooting arrow. And it is aimed right towards the far post. The ball should go right into the side netting, but for whatever reason, the game decided I've scored enough goals and it won't go in the net. But what makes us think that scripting really exists is your opponents get so nope. many rebounds and opportunities to score. Even if you have 15 expected goals and 80% possession, it always seems like I miss my easy opportunities and my opponent just gets gifted a goal. And it is always in the 90th minute. So whether or not scripting really happens is hard to tell. But whether it's a glitch in their code or something's being done on purpose, let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more FC25 content. Peace.